with rolling hills of fertile land and 300 days of sunshine a year, the southern African kingdom of Lesotho is perfectly placed to take advantage of the growing global marijuana industry. I think Lesotho is, is great in the sense that it's very untouched. Uh, so the air you breathe here is clean. The mountain air is, is amazing. You have streams and water here in abundance, which is clean. Um, and so the conditions are, 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 are favorable for, for growing cannabis, definitely. Medigro is one of the first investors in Lesotho's burgeoning marijuana farming sector. The kingdom legalized the cultivation of cannabis in 2017 to cash in on the global industry worth $150 billion. But small-scale farmers who were hoping to get in on the action face a large hurdle. A government license costs $33,000. That's beyond the reach of majority of the population in one of the world's poorest countries. Most of the uh, people have been living from marijuana, but illegally. So we were hoping that this will be an opportunity for them to, to farm it uh, legally now and try to improve their lives. So if they don't uh, get that opportunity because of finance, I think it's a little bit not uh, fair for, 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 for the people. As a result, many have been forced to operate in the shadows, smuggling cannabis across the border to South Africa, where recreational use is allowed. It is a dangerous activity, but my children survive because of it. They have clothes and food, but I risk my life smuggling. The global medical marijuana trade is expected to nearly double in size over the next 10 years. Unless the government cuts down the biggest barrier to entry, Lesotho's farmers could be left high and dry. Paolo Montesilio, TRT World.